Why am I doing this? Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm like loopy. Welcome to waking up at 5am every day for a week challenge. I can't like string a sentence together right now. I decided I was going to try and wake up at 5am because I saw loads of people doing it on TikTok a couple of weeks ago. I remember Emma Chamberlain did this video on her YouTube like last year and I just like wish I could be that. Recently I've been really struggling to get Oh my god, can I can I say a sentence without yawning in the in the middle of it? Recently, since the new year and like getting back into college, I've been really struggling to like keep on top of myself just with my work and then my college work and just finding a healthy balance of everything. And I thought Maybe if I start waking up earlier, I'll get more things done. So I'm gonna wake up every day at 5 a.m. for a week, see if this makes me any more productive and see how my mental health improves during the week or deteriorates, who knows? I think I'll go down and make myself a cup of tea. So I'm at my cute little desk area right here. And one thing I really want to do is do a little bit of journaling. I don't journal at all. I have like my planners and stuff, but like I don't really like journal for more, like mental health benefits, if that makes sense. I actually got this little journal from my managers a while back. It's called Mind Your Head and it has like all these cute little like prompts in it and stuff so I think I'm just gonna like spend 15 minutes and just fill out some of these okay so that was actually kind of a slay I slayed that crossword not gonna lie I spent like 15 minutes I think doing that this actually isn't that much of a journal it kind of just has like daily prompts for you to do so like you write down about something different every day okay next I think I want to do some work that I actually like have to do I have an ad that I need to post today that I need to edit I also have a podcast assignment due this week I recorded it last night so I might spend a little bit of time editing that and then I think I'll sit down and fill out my content calendar for the week basically myself and my management have this google doc calendar thing where I write in all of like my organic content that I'm planning for the week and they'll add in any like ads that I have to post that week or any events that I have. So when I'm filling that out, I will fill out my little personal planner at the same time. This should only take me about like 15 minutes to edit. It's just like a little story set. So it's gonna look like I'm just sitting here on my phone, but I'm actually doing work, okay? I know it just looks like I'm being lazy. <laughs> like I was doing a whole lot of nothing for ages so this is my little content calendar that I have with my managers so they like put things like this in and things like that and then this is like all of like the little bit of content I kind of have planned for the week this isn't like something I like have to stick to but it's just something to like give them like a rough idea of like what I'm planning to do and then I just filled out my little segment of today in my little planner okay it is currently 6 a.m and I think I'm just gonna spend the next hour or so editing my podcast assignment my like college course is so pissed like I literally had to do a 15 minute crime podcast for one of my assignments like I would do that for fun anyway hi again it is now just gone seven and I edited about seven and a half minutes of the podcast and it has to be 15 minutes long so I have a good chunk of it done already and I can just finish it tonight but I'm gonna hop in the shower now and start getting ready for college Okay, I just showered and brushed my teeth and I know it doesn't look like I did, but I promise you I, I did. Why not put a little bit of effort into our appearance since we have so much time? Like usually I don't roll out of bed for college until quarter to eight 
and I leave at half eight. So I never really have time to like actually put in some effort. And it's 20 past seven right now. So we have all the fucking time in the world. I'm just gonna do my regular morning skincare. My everyday moisturizer is the La Mer my fucking arse. I got this in my Brown Thomas advent calendar and I just use it whenever my skin is like really bad. My skin is peeling pretty, pretty bad at the minute. So I've been using this. I always say, yeah, I'm gonna spot concealer and then this happens. I basically put on enough concealer to be my fucking foundation. Whatever I'm wearing today, it's gonna have to go up pretty high on my neck because this is not the right shade match. Setting spray. And voila. I don't look dead. Okay, I'm gonna do a spin into my outfit of the day. Ready? What a sleigh, actually. Honestly, I don't think I've ever looked this put together going into college. It is 10 past eight now. My friend's gonna be here soon to pick me up. So I'm gonna go downstairs, get myself a protein bar for my breakfast, because I always feel so sick in the morning. Make myself a coffee and head off to college. Okay, I'm home from college. I surprisingly, I'm dealing very well with this. Like, I do not feel one bit tired yet and it's actually kind of worrying me. So it is currently half five. I've actually been home since about four o'clock, but my friend came back with me. She had to go to like training. So I just said, come back to my house and I'll like, I gave her food and stuff. And then she went off to training. I do want to go to the gym this evening though. And I feel like that might push me over the edge, but I have to go to the gym. I have to. I'm just putting dinner on for everyone now. So I'll probably go to the gym after my dinner, but yeah, I'll keep you all updated on that process. <laughs> I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, now no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow. Faith is shaky and variety. I'm just home from the gym and look what it is. My pride and joy, Love Island. This is my unwind time. This is what I look forward to every evening. This is my favorite mindless activity. Like I don't need to use any brain power when I'm watching this and it's so entertaining. I did about an hour and a half in the gym, came home, hopped straight in the shower, put on this sheet mask. Summary of the first day of waking up at 5 a.m. Very positive, surprisingly. Like I don't feel tired at all and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I feel like, because now I don't feel one bit tired, I'm gonna crash tomorrow, but Hopefully not. This is definitely much harder than yesterday. We need tea immediately and a Panadol extra. My head feels so heavy that it's gonna like detach and just roll off my body. Okay, my SD card actually ran out of space so I had to like put everything onto my laptop and that took fucking ages. So it's actually closer to about 6 a.m. right now. However, I'm gonna do the same thing as yesterday morning and start off by doing a little bit of journaling. And today it's like about advice and then I have to like list my favorite movies. Okay, so I'm just done filling this out. My favorite movies, I know you're all gonna judge me. I have the strangest taste in films. I love creepy films, but then like, I love like Spirited Away, but like, I, I just think it's such a cute movie. I fucking love creepy films. There's so many more creepy films I could have put on here, but like, I had to put Spirited Away and Hell's Moving Castle in there because they just bring back good memories. Like my boyfriend showed me those films when we first got together. So they're just like, they have like good memories attached to them. Okay, it's about 10 past six. And I think for the next like 50 minutes, I'm just gonna work on one of my assignments. Okay, so it's almost seven now and this is like basically all I've done. This took me fucking ages. Like I did this like whole diagram yoke myself, but it's basically a brand essence wheel. So like, yeah, you can see what it fucking means. I'm gonna get up. I get ready now. I think this is really gonna hit me hard today. Okay, anyway. Transition three, two, one. Ooh. Ah, that's probably disgusting actually. Okay, a little fit check. Um, college fit for today. Air Force Ones from JD. These are PLT and this top is pennies. It's time for me to waste my day in college because inevitably I'll go and I'll actually retain no information whatsoever. So I'm home. I wasn't supposed to be finished college until five o'clock but it's half two and I'm home now. Oh my God, it's time to be real. Let's be real.
Oh my god, that's so cute. But yeah, all the electricity went to my college, so we all got sent home. And I'm thinking, because I'm home like much earlier than I'm supposed to be, will I nap now? Because I think that would make sense, because I'm just like napping during the time I'm supposed to be in college, so I might as well nap now if I'm gonna nap. Nap, fit, check. I moved to the couch because I feel like a nap hits better on the couch. See you in like an hour and a half okay update i had like a very brief nap like it was only like 40 minutes i just couldn't really nap for some reason it's like quarter past six right now also i had a call with my good friend miriam i basically asked her if she wanted to go to vidcon this year or if she had ever been so basically me and miriam are planning to go to vidcon this year in la so i was just spending a little bit of time just like looking at prices and airbnbs and stuff like what airport to go to and everything's actually well it's not like cheap obviously to go there at all but it's like a lot cheaper than i thought it was gonna be so that's something exciting to look forward to this year my mom's gonna be home soon and we're gonna have dinner so i'll just come back when I'm going to bed because this is quite a boring day so I apologize but look we have like four more days of doing this okay so it's just about 11 p.m right now and I'm getting ready for bed which is earlier than last night I didn't go to bed until like 12 o'clock last night which in reality probably isn't a good idea when you're running off of like four and a half hours sleep but yeah again I'm not feeling that tired yet and I don't know if I should be worried like usually I can't function like at 8 a.m in the morning how am I functioning so well at five o'clock in the morning two mornings in a row I do think this is going quite well so far like I am getting more done because like usually when I come home from college like I'm absolutely wrecked and I just like crash but now that i'm getting up before college i'm getting so much more done before i go in so i don't have to worry about it when i get home which is really nice but yeah i'm just gonna finish my skincare and i'm just gonna get straight into bed so i'll see you all at 5 a.m in the morning love you so much good night this is getting easier you know the drill by now let's like journal for our mental health or whatever okay i'm just filling this out and the last question here is what is your favorite thing about yourself today? And I'm looking my, at myself in the viewfinder and I'm really struggling. What do I like about myself? I like that I'm sticking to my plan. That's a good one. I know my period is coming. I've been feeling the my womb preparing for battle. It is 5.38. One thing I have to do is write a cover letter and a cv for one of my assignments which is due today so i'm just gonna do that it shouldn't take me that long okay i'm just done all this here i just had to like write up a cv and stuff like that but look how cute this little cv is that i made how adorable i'm working really really slow this morning um i just feel so low in energy but i always feel like this coming up to my period and i was sitting here and i'm getting like my period like my pre-period cramps already so the vibes aren't good right now i just feel rotten Okay, update. I was putting on makeup and then I was putting on the bronzer and as I was putting it on, it was just flaking off. My skin is having one of those moments and my period cramps, I can just feel them coming. Like I can feel my impending doom. But anyway, let me show you my outfit today. I was really just going for comfort and coziness because that's all I need. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna make myself a triple shot latte because I need it, but I know it's gonna make my period cramps worse, but I, I need the caffeine. Take two Panadol extra and go to college. Well, let me tell you, did Mother Nature arrive? And she's fucking pissed. My cramps are super, super, super bad right now. Like I have period poops, the whole lot. But I'm still gonna force myself to go to the gym because I don't wanna break that routine of going every second day. And I always do feel good after going to the gym. And like, I feel like sometimes the gym helps with my period cramps. I don't know if I'm just distracting one pain with another form of pain, but look, whatever works. Heading to the gym now, so here's the gym fit. Baggy t-shirt because I am so incredibly bloated. So listen. 
I'm in bed. After the gym, I went straight to my granny's house to go visit her. And she gave me a big fat cookie cake. My granny makes the best cookie cake. So I'm currently in bed with a big slab of cookie cake and a cup of tea. It was like 10 o'clock when I came back. So I did not clean my room and I did not do any work on my dissertation. But it's fine because I'm getting up at 5 a.m. So I have loads of time to do it tomorrow. I'm going to get the 12 o'clock train up to Dublin tomorrow. So I'll be there in time for my two o'clock meeting with my managers and then the event at four. All right, I'll see you all in the morning. I fucked it. So as I said, Mother Nature has arrived and she's currently causing a storm in my vagina. I was up pretty late last night, like just with cramps. So I just couldn't get to sleep. Like I was still awake at like quarter to one and like when you're waking up at five, that's pretty late. So I woke up at five this morning and then I just w was not like happy to get out of bed. I've only been getting like maybe five hours sleep the last three nights. So I was just like, right, I'm gonna give myself like another two hours sleep. If I wasn't doing anything today, I probably would have woken up at five, but it's because I have like a work event today. Like I don't want to be like grumpy and stuff at this work event, but I'm still gonna continue with the routine as if it is 5 a.m., okay? It fucking feels like it's 5 a.m., so. And you know by now, first things first, let's journal for our mental health. So here we go, here are today's prompts. Very true, I need to work on it, because I, I say yes to everything, and then I get overwhelmed because I obviously can't do everything, and then I stress myself out and I cry. I forgot the last day or two to right into my little planner. So I'm just gonna write in everything I have to do today. I have my higher education skincare event. And I have my dissertation meeting at 10.30, I think. Oh. oh my God, 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 oh my God. Any boys watching this, you're so lucky to have a fucking vagina. Oh my god, why is it so bad? I hate being a woman. No, I love being a woman. Because women slay, but... Literally now until 10, I am going to sit here. I might make myself a coffee first. Yeah, I'm going to make myself a coffee. ready to slay. I'm gonna put on a podcast in the background to listen to while I do a bit of my dissertation methodology. It is 8.30 right now, my meeting is at 10.30, so I think I'll just keep working until 10. I'll have my meeting and then I'll get up and I'll shower and I'll get ready for the day. I've written just under 600 words and it's actually quarter to 10, but I decided I'm gonna stop now and get into the shower. So I'm gonna hop in the shower now and curl my hair before my meeting. My meeting should only be about 10, 15 minutes. They're never any longer than that, but just so I don't have to rush me getting dressed and getting my makeup done and I can book a taxi and go to the train station. I actually double checked and my meeting with my dissertation supervisor isn't until half 11, I thought it was at half 10. But I'm just gonna start getting ready now. I'm not gonna really film me getting ready because I'm in a bit of a rush. It's half 10 right now. Have to be ready by half 11 and then get a taxi to the train station at like 10 to 12. Skin prep today, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum, my Higher Education Gold Digger Moisturizer, CeraVe Eye Cream, and then probably my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I've been using this recently and I really like it. I can't remember if I've said this already, but this event is basically to launch higher education skincare into boots. And I'm so, 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 so excited. I haven't been to an event like this in a while. And like, I'm so happy it's with a brand that like, I really like. Also, the higher education skincare packaging is exactly like the drunk elephant one that's going viral. I've never tried any of the drunk elephant stuff, but higher education did it first, bitch. Okay, I'm just gonna finish my makeup and then I'll be back. I'm basically doing my makeup the exact same way I do it every time. <laughs> Okay, I'm rushing, I'm all ready to go. My taxi's booked, but I'm just gonna show you my fit real quick. Here she is, she's pretty cute. I have like this little mini skirt on. She is so ridiculously short, so I'm gonna have to be pulling this down. The Jacquemus bag. Love these boots, they're so comfortable. Yeah, I'm looking very gothic, but I'm all ready to go. A good morning. Let me fill you in on what happened yesterday. So, I did say that I was going to vlog while I was at the event. Did I actually do that? Absolutely not. Basically, I was just rushing around. So I got the train up and I got a bus there and then I met with my 
managers first, just have a quick catch up and a lunch. And then I was only working from four to six. It was basically just like in booths. There's like a little stand for higher education. There's a little DJ booth. And we were just like giving out like goodie bags and taking pictures and like talking to people that were like coming over. Yeah, then I just came straight home, put on pizza, watch Love Island. I got straight into bed. Let's recap what I journaled about. I could ask the world for one thing. I would ask for my driving license. Should I have asked for world peace? Probably, but I want my driving license. Do I like my mug? It says a little Miss Sunshine on it. I decided to get into bed because it is really, really cold this morning and I just was uncomfortable and I'm like, I'm not gonna get any work done if I'm cold and uncomfortable. It is like 20 past six. We're moving very slow this morning. So I think I'm just gonna spend two hours doing this. Hopefully get the majority of it done. I don't have to email it until 12 o'clock tonight. So I have loads of time. Has this been there the whole time? Why did nobody tell me? So here's what happened. I did like some work for like probably an hour. And then I was like, Fuck this, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I was just so tired, so it's like 10 a.m. now, I think. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. So I slept from like probably like 8 to now. And I actually feel much better. But I'm thinking now I'll get up, I'll make some breakfast and have a coffee and then get back into my work because I do want to finish this before I start like doing everything else. Here are my thoughts so far. I think waking up at 5 a.m. makes so much sense for me when I'm in college, like on the days I'm in college. But other than that, it really doesn't make any fucking sense because I know I don't have, have to go to college. Like I'm like, why not just go back to sleep? Guys, you don't even want to know what time it is. Half five p.m. The sun has been and gone. However, I did clean my room. It actually took way longer than I thought it would, but it is clean. I was gonna film loads of content today, but obviously my procrastination um, has caused that to kind of fuck up. But I'm thinking if I just sit down and bang out my assignment, like no distractions. I know, like I only have like, I think I, I only have like, 700 more words to do so like if i like sit down with like no distractions i'll get it done in like two hours maybe even less depends on my brain capacity right now and i think it's quite low right after that i'll just like bang on a face of makeup do all the content i can just so i don't have to stress about it tomorrow because it's my boyfriend's sister's birthday tomorrow i'm meeting my granny for lunch tomorrow as i do every saturday but yeah i'm just gonna sit down at the desk and bang out this assignment pray for me coffee acquired Oh, sleighs. And I'm going to get cracking with this now. Currently, six o'clock. Let's see how long this takes me and let's see if I actually do get to make my other content. It is 9.28 and I am just finished my assignment. Did that take me a lot longer than I thought? Absolutely, but at least it's done now, but I do think it's a bit too late for me to start like making content So I'm just gonna make all the content I was planning on making today tomorrow morning And then I can post it out during the week I also finished just in time for my mom to pick up my brother from work and bring me back at McDonald's So kind of slaying right now Lads What the fuck? I don't know what happened. I went to bed at like I think like 20 past 11 like M much earlier than I have been. I set my alarm for quarter to five and five. Woke up at 11. Cause you know sometimes like when your alarm goes off and you might sleep through it, but you still like remember hearing it. Like you might be hearing it in a dream. That didn't even happen. I'm so upset. I'm so disappointed in myself. This is such a fail. I've really been failing the last few days. It started off well. No point in me standing here getting upset and wasting more time than I've already fucking wasted. Gonna get up, make myself a breakfast, a coffee, and we're gonna get straight into it. I have a really bad period cramps right now. I can't hold the frown too long. I can't stay down too long. You know what time it is. It's time to journal for our mental health. Also, please, can you look at my coffee? Look how it's insane that is. It I should be a barista, to be honest, might retire. I'm gonna do a little quick round of journaling and then I'm just gonna fill out my planner for today. Even though this hasn't been the most successful, I still think I've picked up loads of like, 
really good habits. Like for example, this journaling thing. Honestly, taking like what, the 10 minutes out of my day just to like fill in these little prompts every day have like, has made me like think about things I wouldn't usually like spend time to think about. Like even here, look, these are the prompts for today. So it's like, what are my five biggest goals right now? How can I achieve these goals? And when things get tough, I want to remember. And then there's a little self-care plan, which I love. Okay, all done now, just time to fill out the little planner. I'm gonna take off all of my assignments that I already have done. I have my dissertation handed in as of yesterday. Content is basically all the same stuff that I was gonna do yesterday, but couldn't. It is almost one o'clock, so I'm just gonna sit here, finish my coffee, and then hop in the shower. I'm gonna be meeting my granny for lunch at two o'clock. I bring her every weekend. We go and get a coffee or get some food. Okay, I just showered and I just threw on a little tracksuit. I haven't worn this one in a while and I just remembered how much I love it. It's so cute. Didn't put on any makeup at all. I just did my skincare, but my granny is gonna be here in a few minutes. So I'm gonna drive us into town or I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. Okay, I am home from coffee with my granny. We actually had tea, so it wasn't coffee. But I'm all set up here just to film some content. But I thought I would just summarize this video and sign off. So I tried waking up at 5 a.m. every day for a week. Did it happen every day? No. And obviously it wasn't exactly a week, it was actually only six days, so apologies, but. Will I be doing this from now on? Yes and no. You know what, I felt like it genuinely helped on the days that I had college because I think I said this earlier, but like when I come back from college, I just want to like log off, do nothing. Like I don't want to have to use my brain after I come home. So it felt like it made me more productive in that sense that like I got my work done before I went in and then when I come home, I would just be able to relax. It also made me pick up some like really good habits, like the journaling and spending the morning like planning my content, replying to emails, like things like that. However, I absolutely will not be doing this on the days that I do not have college. No, no, no. But to anyone who is thinking of doing this, try it out. It might be for you. It mightn't. There's absolutely no harm in trying. Hope you all really enjoyed this video. I know I kind of failed at the end, but look, this is, we went through it together. I love you all so much. I'm really happy to be back into YouTube and doing it consistently now. And yeah, here's to more. I actually already have my next video planned, so that'll be up soon. But I love you all so much and bye.